They called her the witch, the same as her mother. If at some point she'd been given a first name or last name like everyone else in the town, well, no one had ever known it. Not even the women who visited the house each Friday had ever heard her called anything else. She'd always been, you retard, or you asshole, you devil child. Whenever the witch wanted her to come, or to be quiet, or even just to sit still under the table so that she could listen to the women's maudlin pleas, their snivelling tales of woe, their strife, their aches and pains, their dreams of dead relatives, and the spats between those still alive and money. <laughs> It was almost always about the money, but also their husbands and those whores from the highway. And why do they always walk out on me just when I've got my hopes up? They'd blub. What was the point of it all? They'd moan. Might as well be dead. Just call it a day. Wish they'd never been born. And with the corner of their shawls, they'd dry the tears from their faces, which they covered in any case the moment they left the witch's kitchen. Because they weren't about to give those big mouths in town the satisfaction of going around saying how they'd been to see the witch. <laughs> 